Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you a simple selvage pattern that's based on the seed stitch. I put this selvage pattern together for a recent scarf project and I liked the finished result so much I thought I would do a separate video on it. This pattern will add a three stitch border to any flat knitting project. It's just a very easy two row pattern and it's reversible as well. I've already cast on some stitches here and this particular border is going to take up the first three and last three stitches of every row. So for row one, which will be a right side row, although it doesn't really matter because it's reversible, we're going to start with two knit stitches. Then bring the working yarn between the needles to the front and do a purl stitch. You can do any kind of stitch between these selvages and I'm going to do stockinette stitch. So I'm just going to do knit stitches until I only have three stitches remaining on my needle. And then for the selvage, I'm going to do one knit stitch, one purl stitch, and then I'm going to slip a stitch purl wise with the yarn in back. What this means is that you make sure the working yarn is at the back behind the needles and then you take your needle down through the next stitch as if to purl but instead of purling you just slip it off the needle. And then for row two which for me will be the wrong side row I begin with two purl stitches. Then it's one knit stitch. You can then do whatever stitch you want to do until you've only got three stitches left. Because I'm doing stockinette stitch, I'm just going to do purl stitches. And then for the selvage, you do one purl stitch, one knit stitch, and then you slip a stitch purl wise with the yarn in front. So to do that, make sure the working yarn is at the front of your needles towards you. Then take your needle down through the next stitch as if to purl, but instead of purling, you just slip it off the end of the needle. And that's it, that's the two row pattern completed. Here you can see the effect once I've repeated those two rows over and over. You'll notice that I substituted stockinette stitch for garter stitch just at the top of the central section and that was just to demonstrate that you can put any stitch in between the selvages, not just stockinette stitch. You'll be able to see the seed stitch border as well as the neat chain stitch edging which is the same on both sides. You may also note that these selvages stop the stockinette stitch from curling at the edges. I also knitted a sample in a lighter weight yarn just for comparison purposes. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.